Okay, Chief, and can you just give us a quick rundown on the fire here today? Yeah, at about uh, 6.20, we received a call for a uh, fire outside of a structure on some uh, vegetation. When we arrived, we had some arborvita on fire that was extended into the house, got into the attic, and uh, had a structure fire. So, from what I could hear on the radio, you pretty quickly went a second alarm. Yeah, we went to a second alarm today, one, because it got into the attic, and two, because it's uh, a little bit warmer than normal, and trying to get a, uh, a stop on the fire. Everything's extremely dry with the drought, right? Yep, we, uh, and the arborvitae that we have here is, is dry all the time anyway, and so it, uh, it, it just, it burns hot and, uh, and fast. Okay. Uh, any injuries? Nope, no injuries to either the firefighters or the civilians on scene. Everybody was out uh, prior to our arrival. Okay, so you didn't have to uh, perform any rescues? Nope, and didn't, the medic unit didn't even have to treat anybody. Okay, good. So, um, anything that you'd like to say to the folks, maybe caution them about the, the dryness of everything and fireworks and the like. Right, we're getting into the season now where everything is uh, really flammable. Uh, humidities are down, especially during the day, a little bit of a breeze. And you just got to be really, really care careful with anything that's, uh, any ignition source, whether it's uh, a barbecue, fireworks, any of uh, discarded cigarettes, any of those things. Um, you have to mine those. Fireworks in particular, can you speak a little bit to how dangerous they are in conditions like this? Yeah, that's, uh, you know, you're not sh really sure where they're going to end up and uh, where they're going to go when you light them off. And the, anytime you light them off, it's your responsibility to, uh, to, to take care of where they are. So if you're going to do them, uh, have a good clear space and then uh, have, a, uh, have a garden hose so that if it gets away from you, you can use that. And then when you're done, put them in a bucket of water so that you make sure that they're out and cold. Okay. Would you, would you recommend to the folks that they wet down the area before they use them? That's not a bad idea. Um, you know, and don't, don't use them around uh, any dry or dead grass. Uh, obviously pavement and concrete is best, um, but just making sure, you know, one at a time that, uh, that you're lighting those off. Okay. Well, Chief, we sure appreciate you and your crews. Thank you very much.